Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Welcome in to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of the team, Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. The team, Rick is a partner at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, has over 20 years of experience in the financial industry. But Rick and Eddie and Reed, the team, is really here to help you create that plan, that strategy for your retirement, right? Do I have enough? Can I retire? Well, when can I retire? Will my money last as long as I do? Will my loans be okay if something happens to me? Really, at the end of the day, we really want to know is if we retire, are we going to be okay? Well, that's what Safeguard's all about is helping you figure that out. You can always learn more by going to the website, safeguardinvestment.com, safeguardinvestment.com. But you can always give the team a call, and that's what we're going to talk about today. When you call 800-700-1980 because you've got questions, concerns about where you are on that road to retirement. Can I retire? Do I have enough? Well, my money lasts as long as I do. What happens when you call? That's what we're going to talk about today. 800-700-1980 again is the number. Rick, welcome. How are you? Ready to talk about uh, what happens when people give the team a call for this big picture retirement show? Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Yeah, you know, basically when people do call, you know, Julie Scott, who's been with us for, I got to say, a little over two decades, a little over 20 years, uh, she actually answers the phone and um, will be able to guide the individuals as to our appointment process and any information that they need. And I know there's a lot of offers that we we make on the show. So if there's any brochures or pamphlets or anything like that, she can email them. But there's definitely a warm body that uh, would call or that, you know, it does answer the phone. Occasionally, sometimes the lines do get busy. So um, it may go to voicemail, but she'll immediately call you back if you do leave a message. Yeah, that's that's great. I think really what we're trying to do today is maybe alleviate some of the apprehension of talking with somebody about retirement. We know that, I mean, basically it's 20 to 30% of people actually have a re- retirement plan. Most have the investments, right? Hey, I've got 401ks and IRAs, got some real estate, got a little life insurance. That's my plan. No, those are tools. So we're going to touch on all of this today on the program and hope it, it kind of enlightens you, maybe frees you up a little bit to go ahead and call the team and say, hey, I would like to learn about my situation because there is no cost to sit down and chat with the team. Again, it's 800-700-1980. Why do you think, Rick, that most basically end up doing this on their own? You know, here's the thing. I, I think the biggest reason, or I should say, that people actually don't seek a second opinion on their retirement planning or don't seek um, professional help is we've, we, we've actually done a few surveys on this and there's, there's actually more than one reason I should say. And, and, but one of the reasons that we got back or top reasons that we got back when we did these uh, surveys and one of the big things that came back is I said, Hey, listen, you know what? I'm worried it's going to cost me something. And we were actually surprised by that by, by that response because we thought you know the number one answer would be just procrastination. But they said no, we're worried it's going to cost us something. So what we then said was, well, what if it didn't cost you anything in order to get a second opinion, have your retirement reviewed? So that way, because again, a lot of people are out there saving, putting like you said in their four hundred one ks and things of that nature. But it's, there's no context behind it. They're just putting X percentage away, but there's no con- real context behind what they're doing. So we said, what if it didn't cost you anything? Well, the second answer that came back in these surveys that we conducted were, well, if it doesn't cost us anything, we're worried somebody might try to sell us something or push us, you know, push a product on us that we don't want and we don't need. And we hate those high pressure sales tactics, which we totally understand. So what we do and what we have been doing over the years is those of you that are out there that you're like, hey, listen, you know what? I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a a second opinion, especially if I'm already, I feel like I'm doing everything correctly and and I can't get anything out of it, or I'm worried about, you know, high pressure sales tactics. That's the reason why we offer the hour consultation where you can actually come in, you leave your checkbooks and all that behind. We sit down with you and you can ask us any questions regarding your actual retirement planning scenario. If you'd like, we can even ask you some questions, get an idea of your overall picture, 
And then we can actually pinpoint things that we think you can do that might be able to enhance what it is that you've already been able to accomplish from a variety of different areas, not just the investments, but also the taxes, the trust and will planning, your long-term care planning, the pension, Social Security, and all the rest of it, making sure it all works together. Don't you think, Rick, that uh, I think part of that, too, is is that people think, oh, they're going to go in and tell me I did everything wrong. I've, they're going to take everything in 180 degrees different direction. And that's really not how it plays out. Typically, it's a little tweak here or there can make a big difference, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And, and that's exactly what we try to do is we try to figure out, OK, what are your objectives going forward? What are you trying to accomplish? And we have, again, key questions that will help you with that. And then what we do is we actually figure out where you're at in terms of your goals. And then we educate you on, hey, listen, you know what? When we looked at everything, if everything is matching everything that you're doing with all your objectives and everything else, then there's there's nothing for us to do. But after we do this analysis, if there's some areas that you feel, hey, I might want to improve upon this area, or maybe there's some areas where we're like, hey, you know what? There's a couple of areas we notice you might be able to you know, reduce your taxes or reduce fees or We'll point those things out to you and make you aware of them. And then you can choose whether or not that's something you want to take advantage of. So again, if you'd like to get this process started, again, there's no cost, there's no obligation, there's no pressure. The team at Safeguard Investment Advisor Group, they're here to help. They just don't know if they can help you, so they're not going to charge you because they don't even know if they can help you. They want you to come in and then see if they can help you. And if they can, then it's a decision to be made. Do you want to become a client? Do you not? Is it a good fit for Rick and the team at Safeguard? And is it a good fit for you as well? Because it's two-way street. This isn't come in, get a plan, good luck, I hope it all works out, and we'll never see you again. No, for the next 20, 30 years when you're in retirement, the team at Safeguard is going to be here helping you. 800-700-1980. Before we wrap this first segment up, let's touch on the big picture blueprint is what you call your process. Income, investment, taxes, health care, legacy planning, Social Security is in the income part, Medicare is in the health care part. That's a lot of moving pieces, but it does start with the big picture, right? Kind of like putting a puzzle together. When you have the picture on the box of what the puzzle is supposed to look like, you have an idea of now where to go. You need a picture of what their retirement looks like, don't you? Oh, absolutely. There's basically seven things at the beginning that we look at uh, when it comes to doing the analysis. Number one is we want to look at what type of risks the individuals are taking. And, you know, if you've already won that comfortable retirement, we want to make sure, hey, any risk that you're taking is actually enhancing what you're doing. We want to make sure you're not putting yourself in a position where you can get hurt down the road. So again, it has to add value. I'm not saying we should run away from all risks, but it just has to make sense for your particular situation. The other thing that we're going to look at is taxation. Hey, is there anything you can do in order to reduce the amount of taxes that you're currently paying or maybe down the road when you retire or on the investments or pension, Social Security and all the rest of it? Another aspect that we look at is fees. What are the internal costs that you're paying? Is there any way to make sure that those things are running as efficiently as possible? We know we can't escape fees. We just want to make sure that, hey, whatever we're being charged, we understand what we're getting in return for the fees that we're paying and it makes sense and we're not overpaying. And then of course, hey, does it make sense to possibly do Roth conversions or you know, making sure the income planning is secure that regardless under any environment, you can count on the income coming in no matter what. And then of course, long-term care and then whatever is left over, wealth uh, uh, transfer strategies. So there's seven key areas in, in that blueprint that we look at to see what you can do in order to enhance your situation. Yeah, it's a lot of moving pieces. So do you find that somebody coming in that, you know, hey, the 401ks were great since March of 09, all the way to, to COVID, really, 2020, even into 2021, that everybody's portfolio should have grown during that time period because the markets were so good. But then you have a market downturn for the first time in over a decade in 2022 that people then get nervous. And when people get nervous, they tend to, oh, I better go all to cash you have a plan because you know the markets go up, they go down, they go sideways. So not everything's built on a 15% return in the market every year, right? No, of course not. And here's the thing. There's so many advisors out there that are so busy chasing return in the market that they actually lose sight of the things that they can actually control to the point that they're reaching over the dollars to pick up the pennies. Because if we can save you 10 or 15% in taxes 
or 10 or 15% in tax on your pensions and social security, how easy is it to make that same 10 or 15% in the market? So what we want to look at is, hey, what are the things that we can actually control that's going to put you that much further ahead? And again, people get so caught up in chasing return that they're really not looking at the big picture. Yeah. And if you think about it, and that's why it's called, that's why this show is called the Big Picture Retirement Show. And it's also the Big Picture Blueprint because it is the big picture. Don't, I mean, minutia is really important. You've got to dot all the I's and cross the T's and all of that, certainly. But it's really, let's, where do you want to be? What are you going to do? How are you going to spend your time? And that's really where the process starts is come in, have a conversation. And then Rick and the team go, hey, we, we think you can help you here in this area and in this area. Or they might say, hey, you've already won the game. You don't need us. Keep doing what you're doing. Good luck. Hey, congratulations. Exactly. So everybody's yeah. situation is unique to them. And that's how the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, how they look at it. So somebody might come in with $2 million. It's not near enough. Somebody might come in with, heck, a quarter of a million dollars, and they are good. They've won the game. They've got pensions. they got Social Security. They don't have a lot of debt. They're, they're in great shape. So it's not about the money, but we all do probably have a number. If you would like to just maybe get that second opinion, and for a lot of you, it would be an actually a, probably a first opinion, just give the team at Safeguard a call today. There's no cost for this. Why would you not take advantage to find out where you are on this road to retirement for no cost? 800-700-1980, again, is the number, 800-700-1980. Julie's going to answer the phone, get some insight from you. Uh, where do you need some help? What do you have questions about? All right, hey, we think we can might be able to, we'll, we'll touch on some of that. 800-700-1980. We're talking about the client experience at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. More to get to with Rick Rivera right here on the Big Picture Retirement Show. Back right after this. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. Welcome back to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Five offices in California, Rick's office located in Corona. Uh, the team is here to help you create your strategy, your plan for your retirement. You've done all the hard work, right? You've saved money. You've put money away for retirement, but you've never retired before. Rick's got over 20 years experience in the financial industry. He sat down with a lot of single people, divorced people, uh, married couples, right? Widows, widowers, and they come up with a plan and a strategy that fits the people that they're sitting with. The big picture blueprint covers the pillars that we talk about, income, investment, taxes, health care, legacy planning, Social Security is in the income part, Medicare is in the health care part. That's a lot of moving pieces, but everybody's pillars will be the same, but what goes inside of them depends on where they are, what they want, how they want to spend their time. So that's really where the whole process starts is just that conversation. Talk a little bit about when somebody does come in for that first time, and they've really maybe never sat down with a retirement planner. Maybe they had a stockbroker that helped them grow their money, Rick. But do they come in thinking, hey, here's my plan, Rick. I've got this 401k, this IRA, this real estate, this life insurance. Those tools are my plan. Do most people think that? Yeah, they do. And it's kind of um, willy-nilly. They just put this stuff together. And again, there's no real context to it. So what we do is we actually... When they first come in to see us, that first meeting, when they come in, all it is is just an introduction. We can see where you're at, and within 45 minutes, we've been doing this long enough that we'll be able to, to tell you, hey, we think there's some areas where you might be able to enhance. And if you would like us to, then what we do is we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll do a complete analysis for them, where we'll actually look at the taxes, look at the investments look at their pensions, look at all the different, you know, the real estate, all the different aspects, and then have them come back to, to a second meeting and we'll review our findings and educate them on where they're at. And if it means that I have to run a mock tax return for them, showing them, hey, here's some strategies that you can do in order to minimize taxes or, or, or any other uh, things I need to do, for, we'll show them in that meeting, educate them. Once they're educated on the different strategies, we'll even show them things that our own clients have been using over the past two decades that, that are in similar shoes that they're in, what they've been doing in order to make you know their goals and objectives match. And we may be able to even pose ideas to them where since they're, you know, since we do specialize in retirement planning, sometimes we can share ideas that they never even thought about before. They're like, oh my gosh, Rick, you know what? I'm so glad you brought this up. I never even thought about this before. Once we do that second meeting where we educate them, 
Then we just say, we, we send you home and say, hey, listen, think about the things we talked about. You may have some further questions. And then they come back. If we, they want to review the things we talked about in that second meeting, great. And then we can, at, from that point on, if they want to go ahead and initiate a plan or fix those specific areas, we can help them in that third meeting. But, but at the end of the day, Mark, I don't care if I meet with these people three times or five times, we never move forward until they completely understand everything that we're recommending and that they feel totally comfortable. So we want them to, feel, when they walk out of our office, we want them to have that feeling of, oh, this feels good. It makes sense. I understand, you know, what it's going to do for me. I don't ever want it to be a situation where they're walking out of my office like, oh, my God, what did we just do? Right, right, right. You know, so. Yeah, that's and that's, really a, that's a key, helpful. I think, is that you, you, you need to be on the same page with your clients. You've got the experience of sitting down with a lot of people, a lot of different scenarios have played out, obviously. But these people have come out. They don't know what you're going to tell them. They don't, they're hoping you tell them that they can retire at some point in the near future, maybe. But they don't really know, so they're a little spooked about all of that because they don't know, are they going to try to sell me something that I don't even really need? That's why you take right. your time. That, I think that's fantastic. Again, the number, if you'd like to chat with the team at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, remember, there's no cost to you. There's no obligation. There's no pressure. It's just pick up the phone. Uh, Julie will answer the phone, chat with you a little bit, set up a time. Simple. 800 700 1980 is the number, 800-700-1980. Now, you've been doing this. We've, we've said you've got over 20 years' experience in the financial world, and you and Reed and Eddie started this company together in 2008, so 15 years uh, as a company. But you sat down with a lot of different people, a lot of different scenarios. What I wonder, I know there are people that get laid off or furloughed, certainly during COVID. It's happening again this year. Some companies are laying people off. And we found that the emergency fund was really big in 2020. Oh, I should have had a little bit more put aside for this situation. There are people that can't wait to retire, and then there are people that just don't like their job. I would imagine you have a lot of psychological things you've got to figure out as well when it comes to retirement. 100%. And, you know, what we do is whatever plan we come up with, it has to be malleable. It has to be able to uh, be able to bob and weave, so to speak. So, Anybody that we know that's retiring, we understand they have certain goals, objectives, and they have certain ideas of what expenses are going to be. But we always tell them, hey, listen, you know what? Just know in that first year of retirement, we're probably going to have to make some adjustments. The money that you thought you were going to need, maybe you might need a little more. Maybe you might need a little less. Some of the things that you thought you were going to do, um, maybe you decide, hey, listen, you know what? I had several clients that they retired and they're like, you know what, Rick, there's only so much golf and fishing I can do. And they decided maybe to get a job part time, so we know there's gonna things need to be able to to be able to maneuver, and we can help you with all of that to make it so that it's not so scary. And again, share experiences that our own clients have 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 experienced, and and you can learn from those experiences to make you feel better about your decisions. And just real quick. You know, you mentioned, hey, you know, what if somebody loses their job, their 401k? That is important that you sit down with an advisor that if you do lose your job and you have separation of service and you do have a 401k, you need to decide, hey, do I want to keep that money in a 401k or do I want to move it to a traditional IRA? And how is that going to help me? There's positive and negatives to both of those things. And the reason why I'm saying this is because so many, again, advisors out there, the second they find out an employee lost their job, they immediately want to move their money to a traditional IRA so they can invest it for them. But that can be completely negative or the complete wrong thing for them to do. So it's important that they sit down with somebody like us so they can learn, hey, what are the advantages and disadvantages of keeping the 401k? What are the advantages and disadvantages of maybe me rolling it into a traditional IRA? So that way you're, you're making sure that you're making decisions based on education. Right. And I think that's a big thing. Yeah, because typically if you retire, say, at 55, you've got a 10% penalty to get to your IRA. 401k, there's ways around it. So if you're going to retire before the age of 59 and a half, you would leave some money in the IRA or in the 401k probably so you don't have a 10% Absolutely. penalty. But if you're now 60 years old and you're going to retire at 67, why not sit down with the team? Because typically your company will allow you to roll your, your 401k into an IRA where you've got a little bit more control. You've got way more options. And the Rick and the team can then help you because you're, say, you're three years, five years out from retirement. You're still going to take advantage of the company match, right, Rick? But it's an opportunity to take better control of your retirement monies because retirement is on our shoulders today. Our employer is yeah. trying to help with the 401k, but they're not putting a pension out there for us. 
Yeah, and and I'll and I'll give you a quick uh, a scenario that I've actually seen, where there was a novice um, a- advisor that suggested to a client that was already past required minimum distribution age. He was like at, at around 73, 74. He was still working. And he had suggested the, the the gentleman move his money out of the 401k to put in a traditional IRA to give him some more investment options. Well, fortunately for the for the for the client, he he realized that hey, if he makes that move, he's now going to be forced to take distributions out of that out of that IRA while he's working, and be pushed into a higher marginal tax bracket. Where where while he's working, as long as he has a 401k, he's not forced to take a distribution out of his 401k while he's still working, even though he is over RMD age. So it's intricacies like that where mistakes happen that people don't seek out a qualified individual that specializes in this area that can save you a lot of trouble down because you can't unravel that. Right. You know, once it happens. And it's really, I think people are really comfortable and they don't want to do it, but you go to the doctor and you get a medical diagnosis you don't really like, you're like, well, we're going to get a second opinion. We don't think about that sometimes in the financial world. You, you can get a second opinion from the team at Safeguard, and you can't get the second opinion from the, some who, whomever you were talking to before, right? Because that's a biased opinion. You talk to somebody that doesn't really know you, you'll really find out where you are. And that's the idea behind this second opinion service, or for a lot of you, it'd be a first opinion. When you call the team at Safeguard, it's 800 700 1980 and really what I think you're looking for is just to find out, boy, are we on the right track? Are we doing the right things? Are we going to be okay if we retire? Will our money last as long as we do? Those are the things that Rick and the team are here to help you with. And they, they've they been doing this for a long time, over 20 years. So they, they understand some of the mistakes that are common that people make and some of the great decisions. Because one of the best things is helping somebody take that trip they've always dreamed of. They finally retired. And then you've got the savers that don't want to spend any money. And you're like, hey, you've, you've won the game. Take that trip. Take your family on a trip, whatever. Right. So that's really the fun part of this. Again, the number is 800-700-1980. There's no cost. Hope we cleared up some of that maybe apprehension you have about sitting down with a team. Sure, you can't retire without money, but it's not all about money. It's also about your lifestyle. What are you going to do? How are you going to spend your time? And that's why it's called the Big Picture Blueprint at Safeguard Investment Advisory Group. Take advantage of this opportunity. There's no cost. There's no obligation. It's 800-700-1980. 800-700-1980. Rick, thanks for all the great insight. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great week. We'll do it again next week. Thanks, Mark. I really appreciate it. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable. But accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.